Okay, in this movie we are going to start the assembly of the gumball machine where we take all the parts that we have drawn and put them together in what is known in this type of drawing as an assembly. Okay, so the first thing I did was I have opened up the file called gumball. Uh, yours might be called gumball machine, but essentially it is the base or the beginning of the gumball machine. Okay. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit here and orbit and this is what we created for the base of the gumball machine. Next I'm going to get my tape measure out and from this end of the top I'm going to come in 1.25 inches. From that point I'm going to come over 4.5 inches and from this edge I'm going to come in 5 eighths of an inch. So again that was 5 eighths. All right. So I've got these guides on here now. Next I am going to go to my drop down menu here in the corner and I'm going to select insert. I'm going to go into my Google Drive. Is there need for call 114? I'm going to come down to my 7th grade folder, which is where I saved all of my files. 7-1 folder. And then I'm going to find my side rail. So I'm going to select uh, one side rail, select that. And what you see now is the side rail comes in. Okay. So at first, I'm just going to drop it anywhere. It doesn't really matter. So I'm going to drop it right there. Now I'm going to zoom in a little bit and make sure that when I move this, I move it from this corner where it actually says corner. Don't move it from here or here or here or here or here. You want corner. So I'm going to click on it and I'm going to move it to the intersection of those two guidelines. Next thing I'm going to do is I am going to, sorry, put that back where it belongs. I was looking at something there. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to insert Google Drive, 7th grade, 7 1, 1 underscore side rail, select, and drop it anywhere again. It doesn't matter. However, you'll notice now it's facing the wrong way. So I'm going to zoom in toward the top, and you get these four red plus signs. Doesn't really matter which one you grab hold of. I'll grab this one. So I click, and I swing it around until I get back to green axis. See how that axis is green? Black, 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 green, click. Now I've rotated that 180 degrees. I will then zoom in towards the bottom, click on the corner, move the corner over to my guides, come up here and click save, and then next thing we need to do is fix the holes, or the hole actually, in this piece. Okay. The way the gumball machine works is the barrel that we drew had that longer handle and it's got to stick out or through this piece of wood so that you can turn it with your fingers. However, you will see that the hole does not come all the way through in either one of these pieces. Okay, So I want to edit this piece. However, if I do that, since it is really technically the same piece, First of all, if you want to edit a group, which this comes in as a group, I have to double click it. So I clicked on the piece twice, and then I zoom in, I get my push tool, and I push this through, 0.25, it creates a hole through the piece, which is great. The problem is, is that it did it to this one too, because essentially it is the same piece. They are linked to each other. OK, 
Okay, so I can't do it that way. So I'm going to undo that move. So before I push this hole through, what I need to do is two finger click on the piece. Sorry, I must select the piece, then two finger click on it, and I have this option to make unique. So I click on that. Now, double click the piece. I'm going to zoom in so I can see my surface. Click on it, push it back, 0.25, press return. Get my selection tool, click outside and close the group. And now I have one side rail that does not have the hole going through. But over here, I have a side rail with the hole going through. So I'm going to go ahead and clear my guides. Save the piece. And then we'll move on to the next video.